In this lesson, we're going to talk about uh, a different way to describe angles. A little bit different. It's called degrees, minutes, and seconds. Um, the degree part's still the same. You could have 20 degrees, but rather than a decimal, um, which is kind of a base 10, you break this into minutes and seconds. So that little first hash mark represents your minutes, and then the double represents your seconds. So it's 20 degrees, 15 minutes, and 30 seconds. Um, it's a little bit more accurate way because minutes and seconds is a base 60 um, as opposed to decimals being kind of a base 10. So some of the basics to this are your minute. Your one minute is 1 60th of a degree, just like 1 60th of an hour. Um, or 60 minutes is equivalent to 1 degree. Um, your seconds breaks up just like you normally would think. One second is one sixtieth of a minute or one three thousand six hundred of a degree. So uh, when you get to seconds, you're talking about a very, very small increment. Um, or another way to look at it is 60 seconds is equal to one minute or 3,600 seconds is equal to one degree. Um, so it's kind of in a used, uh, if you were to pinpoint yourself on Google Earth, um, you would actually see their longitude and latitude, whatever your those measurements are, you would see that rather than initially right away breaking into a decimal, you would see your 40 degrees north, and then there'd be so many degree uh, minutes and seconds after it. Um, but we can add angles, we can subtract angles, we can do all the things that we normally do with angles. So if you add and subtract so let's say you have um, 51 degrees 29 minutes and you're gonna add 32 degrees 46 minutes added down to it. So the math works out exactly how you would think. Um, I'm actually going to line stuff up. It's degrees, minutes, plus 32 degrees, 46 minutes. So it's kind of like lining up your like terms. So you're adding 29 minutes to 46 minutes, which creates 75 minutes. And then 51 degrees plus 32 degrees adds up to 83 degrees. Now, um, you have 75 minutes. Well, 75 minutes is more than an hour's worth of time, more than a degree worth of time. So you could subtract 60 minutes out of that, which would add one degree to your 83. So, um, if you, so 75 minutes is one hour and 15 minutes, which would be one degree in 15 minutes. So it'd be 84 degrees and 15 minutes. All right, um, subtracting. Now subtracting, we're gonna do a little bit different. Um, subtracting is still subtracting, but we're gonna do a different type of problem. We're gonna find the complement. Seventy-three degrees twelve minutes. Now the complement means this angle and another angle are going to make ninety degrees. So rather than adding, because I don't know what to add to it, we're going to take ninety degrees and we're going to subtract seventy-three degrees twelve minutes. So this works very much like you would in regular subtraction. You're trying to subtract twelve from nothing, so that means we need to borrow. So we're going to take this 90 degrees and we're going to borrow one degrees worth of time, like one hour's worth of time. So then that 90 becomes 89 degrees, 60 minutes. And now we can subtract 60 minutes minus 12 minutes is going to get us 48 minutes. And then 89 minus 73 is 16. So we have 16 degrees, 48 minutes. So 
So subtraction works like subtraction. Um, you just got to realize that if you are you may need to borrow, which means you may need to borrow hours worth of time, so it's equivalent to 60 minutes. Um, so that is kind of some of the basics of adding and subtracting. What about converting a, um, a degree into, not degrees, minutes, and seconds, but a degree um, with your decimals into degrees, minutes, and seconds, or something that's in degrees, minutes, and seconds into your uh, more of a decimal version of it. So here's your two different directions that you can go. Um, so we could have converting your regular degrees into degrees, minutes, and seconds. All right, so if you have 34.817, degrees. All right. We want to make this into degrees, minutes, and seconds. So the degree part's the degree part. This we're going to try to convert into minutes and seconds. So you can think of this as kind of a percentage. It's 81.7-ish uh, percent of an hour. So how many minutes would that be? And then how many seconds would that be? So the math is you're going to take just the point 0.817 because that's a fraction of an hour and to figure that out it's kind of like a percentage so you're going to multiply it so that turns into 49.02 that would be how many minutes so it's like 81 percent of 60 is 49.02 minutes so right now we're sitting with a final answer of 34 degrees 49 minutes but then you got this fraction of a minute so then we'll take that 0.02 and again, we'll times it by 60 because now we have a fraction of a minute, which is seconds. So it's 60 seconds. So it's 2% of 60. And that 2% of 60 becomes 1.2 seconds. 1.2 seconds. Now, good thing is it doesn't go further than that. It cuts off at seconds and seconds, if seconds has decimals, then seconds has decimals. So 34 degrees, 49 minutes, and 1.2 second is equivalent to 34.817. So that's going from degrees to um, degrees, minutes, and seconds. It's a multiplying by 60 kind of a thing. So if you are now converting the other direction, degrees, minutes, and seconds into a decimal version of your degree, um, it's going to be exactly the opposite. So we're going to be dividing by, divide by 60. So if you have, for example, 74 degrees, um, 8 minutes and 14 seconds. So we will start off with the second, so we'll kind of turn seconds into minutes, and then we'll turn that into a fraction of a degree. So 14 minutes is 14 sixtieths, or 14 seconds is 14 sixtieth of a minute. Well, that becomes 0.23. So what we're doing is we are tacking that on to the eight minutes. So you're sitting with 8.23 three minutes, which divide by 60 again, that's going to be making a fraction of an hour, fraction of a degree. So that divides to 0.13. So then your total, your final is 74 degrees, oops, 74.137 degrees. So again, I kind of compare it to up here where this is about like 81%. So this is 13.7% of an hour, which would make eight minutes and 14 seconds. And that is degrees, minutes, and seconds. Thanks.